For cubital tunnel syndrome, where it's an entrapment of the ulnar nerve, very close to small intestine eight, located approximately just about one soon distal from small intestine eight, where the ulnar nerve travels between the two heads, the flexor carpi ulnaris, there's a number of different orthopedic examinations that you can use for this. The manual muscle test, which is useful, is for the flexor carpi ulnaris. In order to do that, have the elbow nice and straight, flex the carpes, and then deviate to the ulnar side. My line of drive is to, dr is to bring the wrist into extension to the radial side. We want to see this muscle here start to pop up. I'm going this way, you keep me from doing that, and hold, all right, and hold, and you would do this two, three, four times to see if you can get any of the paresthesia traveling into this region or potentially tingling within this finger. That would be a sign of the cubital tunnel syndrome. Now, because the flexor carpi ulnaris also attaches to the medial epicondyle, you can use this test to see if it actually does start to cause pain within this region, which Heidi does have some medial epicondylitis. So with doing that particular test, did that start to aggravate that medial epicondyle? Yeah, a little bit. All right, so because the flexor carpi ulnaris is associated with the heart and small intestine sinew channel, Part eight is a nice point to use to open up this channel in addition to the abductor digiti minimi motor entry points. This is located between small intestine three and small intestine four. So we're going to go ahead and stimulate both of these and then retest re the manual muscle test and see if that changes the sensation at the medial epicondyle. All right, so we know that heart eight is going to be located between the fourth and the fifth. Metacarpal bones, I'll be nice. We'll go in, stimulate. You okay? Now I'm going to take the needle out because we're not going to be able to keep this needle in that we normally do with acupuncture as an assessment. We have abductor digiti minimi, halfway between small intestine three and small intestine four. This is more on the small intestine channel. Simulate, we saw the uh, finger move. That's going to be for the abductor digiti minimi. Needles are out. Make a fist for me. Deviate to the ulnar side. Elbow nice and straight. Let's see if that decreases the pain at the medial epicondyle. And hold. And hold. Good. And how did that feel? You're definitely feeling better. So it's feeling better. So acupuncture and assessment, that's telling us not only we're going to be treating the flexor carpi ulnaris motor entry point, located three and a half soon distal from small intestine eight, but we'll also treat abductor digiti minimi and also heart eight in addition to the rest of the treatment for the medial epicondyle. For more information, this would be the SMAC program module four.